Sincere Harris has made it official. He is following Chester Frazier to West Virginia to play for Darian DeVries. Uh, he announced this on Sunday. We are just getting to a video. It's actually a little after midnight Monday morning right now. The grind don't stop, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have a video coming out on the Monday podcast where we talk about Orlando Antigua as Illinois' replacement assistant coach. And we did allude to the fact that there seems to be some bad blood here between Chester Frazier, Illinois, maybe Orlando a little bit. I don't really know. But uh, bottom line is this. Chester Frazier's pretty excited to have Sincere Harris along with him. Maybe Imani Hansberry here in the future. And Sincere, um, I mean, really didn't hesitate to run away from Illinois to end up back with Chester at West Virginia. Sincere, in his freshman season at Illinois, played 14 and a half minutes a game, 3.7 points, was a good defender, role player type, that's it. Willingly redshirted as a sophomore. We were told that's what, what a great program guy he was. Now we'll see if he'll bring those program talents to West Virginia with him. Is he going to be good at West Virginia? Are you, you're not surprised, but do you like this for sincere? No, I actually don't like it for sincere. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought that he would have been better suited to go down a level, uh, possibly play maybe at the, in, at the Mac level um, or something like that. I, I also like looking at this marriage outside of him, like liking Chester Frazier, I don't think anything about what Darren DeVries does, in my opinion, like as a basketball coach and philosophy wise, really necessarily screams like a uh, sincere Harris is a player that he could have. Now, maybe he's a guy you want to bring in that will just at least at minimum put pressure on the ball, play good defense and let Tucker DeVries just do whatever the hell he wants and get all the shots up and be the amazing basketball player he is. But like, let's not let's just like call a spade a spade. Like sincere wasn't really going to play for Illinois this season. Anyway, they're not necessarily losing him to West Virginia. Um, he's a good defender, but he's a non shooter uh, at this point And a, like a non shooter, non score at this point uh, in his career. So it's like, I, I don't necessarily know if like one, I'm giddy about this, if I'm a West Virginia fan and two, if I'm just like, if this fit necessarily makes sense to me. Huh. Do you think Sincere can ever be a quality offensive player for a good team at the high major level? A quality offensive player? Yeah. No. Just ability wise, you don't think he has that? I d- yeah, I just I I don't see it. Um, I mean, he does have good size positionally if he's a point, but like, I don't think he has the handle to be a point guard. I don't think he has the distribution skills to be a point guard i don't think he has a passing ability to be a point guard so it's just like uh, uh, is sincere harris a 6-4 no joel no joel eastern is that like his 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 path i don't know it's not a good player uh yeah it's gross carter i have a number for you um do you know what i don't like your tone do you know what sincere has shot in his college career from the free throw line 20%. Twenty percent. Do you know what the attempts are, though? Twenty. He's four for twenty from the free throw line. He has missed sixteen out of twenty free throws. At the, you shoot free throws from the free throw line. That's really hard to do. Carter, if I gave you a ball and told you to go to the gym and shoot free throws and try to make free throws for hours, how many hours would it take you to miss sixteen out of twenty? I don't think I ever would <laughs> like, and I get, okay. Pressure in a big gym, whatever, but like, <laughs> and uh, even so come on four for 20, four for 20, man, four for 20. I, uh, uh he shoots better from three. He's 13 for 41 from three and four for 20. From I'm three surprised that he even hit 13 threes, to be honest with you. I don't get it. Should we talk about the good with sincere? Cause there is good with sincere, like legitimate. Oh, I, think, I think he's a phenomenal defender and ball pressure and just like, everyday guy honestly i think he's a great everyday oh, guy oh, don't do that don't do that I thought, he, well, I thought he was what's the defensive upside at west virginia does he have like defensive player of the year upside in the well this ball? is the thing like this is you know this is the west virginia with without bob like this isn't press virginia anymore if it was press virginia i'm in give me sincere harris 94 feet all game in chest in shorts that that intrigues me I don't really necessarily know what this looks like. 
for for him right now. Mm. Do you think Sincere will ever be a starter at West Virginia? Yes. Really? Because I think you can trust him defensively to cover up for some other defensive liabilities that other guys might be if you have a lot of offensive players on the floor. How much of this is just Chester, like, pulling strings? Like, I wish I had a friend in my corner the way Sincere has Chester. I mean, I it's it's good on him that he has that player. To, but also, like, how do I want to say? I don't want to say this. I think I know what you're going to say. And it's, are you going to do the thing that you sometimes do with Michigan State players after you, it becomes clear that they're just bad? No, not even that. Because, like, <laughs> like at a certain point, you should stop being there for your guy. Is that what you're about to say? <laughs> I, all I'm saying is that I think Sincere Harris should go down a level for a reason. Oh. I think that's best for his development and that's best for the level of player that he is. Well, it, it didn't happen. He's at West Virginia. <laughs> so, uh, Amani Hansberry is going to follow, right? Like, pro- yeah, seemingly it seems like, yeah. Wrapped up. I mean, in the commitment pictures from Sincere, there was a picture of him and Amani. So, um, I will say, like, Sincere why does. does West, why does West Virginia want Chester Frazier again? I mean, coming from a winning program like Illinois, he's done great things. Yes. Yes. Um, also, like, Chester's recruits are, like, the ones that were tearing down the program. Yeah. Uh, looking back on his red shirt at Illinois, was that the right call for anyone involved? It was the right call for Sincere, yeah. I think it was the right call for Illinois, too, right? Like, they didn't miss Sincere this year. Yeah, they didn't miss him. He saved his eligibility, and, like, they got to prop him up as this guy who's doing something great for the program. When he redshirted back in the day at the beginning of the year, was it actually the great teammate unselfish move that it was made out to be? Or was there maybe a little looking ahead of like, I know I won't always be here. I think it was maybe what we said it was and what we were told we shouldn't think like that. It was that he knew he wasn't going to play this season and his future probably wasn't at Illinois. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, We don't know. I don't even want to take the victory lap. I'm not going to pat ourselves on the back for that because I don't know if that's actually what happened or not. Will there be a moment this year where Illinois basketball fans look up and watch their team and have a thought to themselves of, damn, we miss Sincere Harris right now? No. I think there will be. I mean, shit, honestly, there was some, if I can go back and look at receipts, there was a, some people last year who were like, we could use Sincere. He plays what's, defense. What's the number one thing Sincere's good at? Defense. What's the number two thing Sincere's good at? Energy. Just, just who he is. Not just even vibe, vibes, good vibes. Just, just a good vibes, good teammate, good guy. In the words of Ty Rogers, he's a good guy, right? Yeah. I think Illinois will end up with some good guys. I think they will. Um, I mean, right now, if you listen to Illinois fans, I'm literally looking at the Discord right now as we record this. I just sent them a picture of us recording this. If you look at Illinois fans' projections for their roster next year, it includes a Louisville player and a Memphis player who has jumped schools three times in three years and never been on a winning team. Could be a lot of guys potentially if if all goes to plan the way Illinois fans are telling me it will. There's going to be a lot of guys in that locker room that have not developed winning habits, have not been in winning locker rooms, and just don't have those intangible things. And if you look around the Illinois locker room right now, obviously anybody who's returning from last year has that. Like, but like, can I say something crazy? DGL might have like the fourth best winning habits to him on this team next year. Like if you go, if you go up and down through the names, like D, DGL is more closer to the winner threshold than some of these other guys on the roster might be. Yeah. I think they're going to miss sincere just as a pure program guy, because he was a program guy. And regardless of what that turned into on the basketball court, it mattered last season. I think it could matter again, depending on who they bring into the locker room. Flip side, Matthew Meyer came from a winning program. He did. I don't think anybody would tell you Matthew Meyer had individual winning habits, though. True. 
Very ever. true. So, guess we'll see. Is winning program overrated? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Like, winning or losing program? It's more about the individual than the program? Yeah, because I feel like some guys get like a winning program bump when they were just like, you know, cashing in a good group grade. That's true. Uh, is Sincere a winner then individually? Not a winning program guy? Throw the program out of the window, but is he a winner? I think I consider him like a, a guy that can contribute to winning. A winning player. Yeah, I think he'll do like things defensively that'll help you more than – you know, just how he can hurt you offensively. Would you rather have Trey Donaldson or Sincere Harris? Trey Donaldson. That tells me where you're at on Sincere. Good luck to Sincere Harris. Uh, Good luck. Good luck to Illinois fans too, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to go to bed. If you've been watching our videos this season, you know that we are presented by MyBookie. Carter, tell the people about MyBookie. My bookie is the official sports book of Sleepers Media. They have everything you need from expert predictions, write-ups. I mean, any 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 way you want to bet, my bookie makes it easy for you to play your way and get paid. And right now, Gregory, we have an instant deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars. All you have to do is use promo code Sleepers. That's promo code Sleepers. Take advantage of this great offer today and everything that my bookie has to offer. Yeah, the NCAA tournament may be over. The madness. Maybe it's put to bed for a little bit. But college basketball is still rocking. It's transfer portal season. NBA playoffs are coming soon. There's still a ton to bet on, and you should bet with us at MyBookie. The link is in the description of this video. Use promo code SLEEPERS.